this your first VidCon? Yes, sir. How has it been thus far? It has been amazing. My name is Freddie Wong, and uh, I'm here at VidCon, the sixth annual VidCon down in Anaheim. And uh, really, we're speaking on some panels and sort of meeting a lot of our fans. And we got a little booth, and we're you know selling some merch and and uh, signing autographs, and just generally having a good time down here. This year, our big uh, our big project is we are uh, we have a show that's coming out as part of the Hulu Originals later on this year. It's going to be an eight episode series uh, that's going to be on Hulu, uh, and it's going to feature eight of like the craziest shorts that we've ever done. When we first started in 2010, there was no thought of money in this. There was no world where you could make money doing YouTube. You made a little bit and you could make a living, but it wasn't like you do now where you hear about, you know, celebrities and product endorsements and people making millions of dollars and it becoming almost a sort of offshoot celebrity culture in its own right. I think one of the things that's that's really interesting about online video and the people who have found success in online video is that there's an openness and a proximity to the fan and the fan base that you usually don't get when you think about companies and celebrity, you know. So for us we've always been very open about doing uh, uh, or behind the scenes and showing people how we do things and giving the real depth about our process and our thinking behind the way that we make things and we found you know it's a good way to sort of connect with people and something that people are generally very curious about you have sort of quote unquote celebrity here who might you know someone who might have say two million followers on their Instagram is celebrity in their own right but maybe not necessarily internationally world renowned world no they're not Michael Jackson they're not Tom Cruise but they are very famous and they're more famous than they ever could have been without the internet and without social media walking around interacting and those people who follow them have a very close relationship with them and and to me, that's sort of what the shift has been. And this is, it's a shift in terms of how you define celebrity and what we understand celebrity to be.